Welcome back to Aaron's Football Saturdays in the South. One of the great things about sports is it's always had a familiar family ring to it. Whether it's kids playing in the backyard, maybe a game of wiffle ball while mom and dad are barbecuing, or in the front yard shooting some hoops. Well, for Clemson quarterback Charlie Whitehurst, his sports education began very early in life. Jen Hildreth has their story. I think uh, kind of grew up, grew up being an athlete. I remember, uh, you know, it seemed like I was playing with a lot of the older guys in the neighborhood, and just every every day we were, we were doing something, football or baseball or something like that. He was serious, and and uh, he approached sports. He he had no tolerance for other kids that didn't love sports or didn't work at or weren't weren't as good as him. I thought. He's really going to be good someday. And, and he seemed to thrive on the challenges and was motivated by, you know, he's always been the kind of kid that if something wasn't riding on it, it wasn't any fun. It seems Charlie Whitehurst has been training for a role his entire life, that of a major college quarterback. There's no doubt that Charlie's been schooled well from early early age up about some of the, the fundamental leadership qualities and skills of a quarterback. Well, it helped when your dad played in the NFL. David Whitehurst was the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers for seven years. He has been an important influence on his son's budding career. Up until arriving at Clemson, I probably 99% of it was everything I knew about the sport kid. You know, so maybe, yeah, seven or eight, and maybe nine years old, we started throwing the football. You know, I really couldn't throw a football back then. I, I could throw a baseball pretty well, but uh, it was a, definitely a learning process learning how to throw a football. So I uh, just kept working with my dad, and he just got, got better and better. Before each year, when he was trying to get ready for high school or whatever, we'd go out and, you know, four or five times before the season would start, we'd throw and get his arm in shape. and. We'd work on his fundamentals and his pass drops and uh, maybe his delivery a little bit, but he was pretty much a natural. Natural talent might come a little easier when you grow up in an athletic environment. Just call sports part of the Whitehurst way. Charlie Whitehurst. Cougars. The genes are important and the whole atmosphere is important. I mean, we've supported it so much that there was never any question of would we be at a game or would we be able to take them to practice or I mean it was just the you know the priority. It's a lot of hard work there's a lot of lessons that can be learned from athletics and um, you know I I don't I didn't know it any other way and uh, so it's kind of uh, you know doing the same thing as I did when I was a kid. We didn't really know any other way we thought everybody was supposed to be like us I guess I mean I wouldn't have wanted it any differently. I like, I like the way we grew up. Carrie Whitehurst followed her big brother to Clemson and just finished her freshman season with the women's basketball team. It didn't really surprise me because Carrie, well, number one, Clemson is a great place. And number two, she has always been a real strong supporter of Charlie. And she wanted to feel that excitement with Charlie, too. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm his biggest fan, I'd say. <laughs> Hopefully he's mine, I don't know. You know, I think she's done a great job with the basketball, and I, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I hope she can continue, can continue to grow as a basketball player. But these two weren't always on such friendly terms. They didn't get along at all. They, they were a classic case of sibling rivalry. Okay, now they're gonna kill us for this one, but oh, I just yeah. got it. And what's <laughs> this? Is those two, Charlie? Yeah, here? that's Charlie and Carrie. That kind of sums up their relationship. She. As always, idolizing Charlie, she's wearing his underwear, <laughs> and Charlie is administering some physical pain. The Whitehurst Bridge tells the story of the family's passion for athletics, which begs the question, who's more competitive, Charlie or Carrie? You know, if I was betting on it, I would say that Charlie's more competitive. I'd say I am. Oh, my gosh. Really? Really? Well, that's a good huh. thing. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good. I, I thought I was a pretty competitive guy, but uh, after hearing her say that, I mean, I don't know now. Uh, 
Uh, I've seen her out there. She, she's pretty intense on, on the court, so uh, I'd say it's a toss-up. I don't know. There's no debate, however, that the Whitehurst family tree has put down some firm roots at Clemson. Charlie already owns 29 school passing records and is coming off a sophomore season that saw him shatter the single season mark by airing it out for more than 3,500 yards. Whitehurst shortstop, pump fake, those to his left, those to his left, it is two, one, and the 20, 15, 10. He's a great leader, and um, you know he makes great plays. I mean, I think that's the biggest reason he's a great quarterback is because he makes plays. Charlie may have grown into a great quarterback, but he hasn't forgotten how he got there. David Whitehurst's role as a coach has dwindled over the years, but his role as a dad has never faltered. Through athletics, I think he was able maybe to, to raise me and raise some of the, you know my other uh, siblings. Uh, I mean, he was he was hard on me. He was hard on my sister uh, through athletics, but I think it kind of helped us. Uh, you know, the real world's tough, and uh, there's a lot of competition out there, and uh, it's more fun to win than lose. And uh, I hope that he's instilled uh, some qualities in us that will help us out in the real world too. You know, getting back to what I was just trying to tell them is that I, I just want you to be the best you can be. I mean, if that means that you never play a down of football or a minute of basketball, I'm fine with that, as long as you've given all you've got, got to give. Charlie Whitehurst and the Clemson Tigers were sitting at five and four, and then came the Bowden Bowl. And from that point forward last year, they were on a roll, concluding with an upset win by rolling Tennessee in the Peach Bowl. In fact, Charlie Whitehurst, as a sophomore, threw for more yards than any other quarterback, including fellow sophomore Matt Leinert of Southern California.